What up, it's your boy Nick Incredible, and this is my discussion slash review for Tracker episode one. And honestly, pretty decent start. Let's talk about it. Headed out for change, I just started on my quest. Yeah, the world will know my name, I'm excited, I'm obsessed. No one in my way but myself and a test. Yeah, I will be the best, yeah, I will be the best. Life is just a game, I'll be playing till I rest. I'll be there to claim my own spot among the best. Okay. Now, I got to be honest, I was solely going to watch the show on my own, but after episode one, I felt like I really had to discuss it and talk it out and see if anybody else really is feeling this show, because after episode one, it piqued my interest a little bit more, and I'm excited to see where this series is going to go as the episodes progress on. Now, episode one, it says it all in its name, Tracker, so he's tracking someone, but we learn as the episode progresses that he's tracking people that like ended up on a hike and got off trail and got hurt. And that's where we start and open up the episode. But he also ends up tracking other cases as well. It's not just people lost in the wilderness or anything like that. It's people that have been kidnapped and taken into the wilderness wilderness as well. So I feel like that's a nice way to kind of blend the whole dynamic of the show. Sure. He can track people that, eventually just got hurt and wandered off but he's also tracking people that are being taken as well now we've all seen justin hartley before uh for us older people um you know sure uh smallville um but for more recently i guess you could say would be um this is us now i really haven't seen him anything else besides those two i I mean i know he's done a couple movies here and there But, um, dude is, dude is a pretty decent actor and, um, I'm really digging the character of Coulter Shaw. I have the names pulled up over here because I can't remember them just yet, but I'm really digging this character. Now, it's nothing new. The premise of the show is really nothing new, but it, the way it's handling, handling itself is something that I'm excited to check out as we go forward. Um, the character is a little bit different, I guess you could say, you know, his father trained him in the wilderness, just the survivalist things, he knows how to track, track people with the prints and everything like that, but we also see that there's a little bit more to the story than just him tracking people. Uh, we see that his parents both were professors at Berkeley, something happened along the line with his father and he kind of lost his, maybe his mental faculties a little bit and moved them to like a secluded place and trained his kids in the art of tracking and living off the wild and everything. So we know that something happened to his father. You could tell that from the flashbacks that we get as the episode progresses. But we also see that he has a brother and a sister and something is going on with his mom. Now at the ending of the episode, we see that he gets in contact with his mom. He goes back to like their old cabin and meets her. But Throughout the episode, we see that his father ends up dead. His father almost attacked his brother. And we also see that his brother kind of wanted their father dead. And throughout the entire episode, someone is calling Col- Coulter and he's never picking up. And they keep sending these vague, I guess you could say, sort of kind of threatening texts. And we find out that it's his brother. But after the flashback, we see where his brother is standing on top of the cliff and his father is at the base. Coulter kind of just jumps to conclusions, like we all do, that his brother might have pushed his father off the cliff because we know that his brother wanted him dead. But after meeting his mom at the end of the episode, and she's like, well, avoid your brother and don't dig into this hole, just let it go. There's definitely more to this story. We know that she was an hour late getting back to the cabin, and that kind of sent the father into a rage. So I'm assuming there's something more to the story with their mother and their brother and his brother might be trying to clear his conscience or come clean or tell him something more. Maybe there really was someone chasing his father. We don't really know yet. You know, that's going to be something we find out later, but they definitely uh, pique my interest and they give you subtle hints of very mysterious intrigue around the mother, the brother and the father. Now, the actual episode dealing with the tracker aspect, we see that Coulter has two particular cases. The one where we open up the episode, we see him immediately saving someone that wandered off the beaten path and she's injured and messed up her leg. Coulter saves her and, you know, he's a rewardist. I was going to say bounty hunter, but you know, no, 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 no. Well, not bounty hunter, but mercenary. But, you know, after the episode, he's a rewardist. Now, he saves this chick and we come to find out that there's, I think, a $50,000 reward. And her husband or boyfriend or whatever was kind of vague on trying to give Coulter the money. But he ended up getting his money anyway. Now, he has two ladies that uh, kind of handle all his 
business aspects of it and they find the cases and then he goes and rescues the people or whatnot but i'm a little interested in how that whole dynamic is working culture is also dealing with another case because that one wrapped up pretty fast in the beginning but this one is a missing kid and we see he's really not above coloring outside of the law or going in a little bit of a gray area but when he does that you know the two ladies that run the business aspect of his business uh you know they they woke up in the middle of the night trying to call a bunch of lawyers to free him you also meet a lawyer that he has run in with in the past they kind of had a will they want they kind of connection vibe going on and we know that culture kind of snuck out in the middle of the night but for those of you that don't know that's the chick that played on fire country that she ended up dying in the in the fire or whatnot but um yeah she played on fire country so it was nice to see her again but um they have a will they want they kind of vibe and um she gets him out and also we see that he has like a trial and a court date coming but i feel like I can kind of see them rocking a little bit because we also know that Coulter had this thing with the police officer in the episode. And if that's going to be the thing, like the vibe, the entire season, like he's just going off to these towns, saving people and everything. And the next thing you know, he's just sleeping with some random woman. I might need to start finding people, you know, just, just putting that out there. <laughs> but it was nice to see that whole dynamic. It, it, it kind of pulled some of the tension because we see that, Coulter got arrested he kind of broke the law a little bit but it was to find this kid because he took the second case and this kid kind of went missing his parents were worried his mother and his stepfather but he went to meet his real biological father but as the episode progresses and the story unfolds we see that this dude that was in a halfway house with his father we see this dude that was in a halfway house with his father kidnapped this little boy Coulter saw that on the camera told the police and everything and all because of money it's always about money man like for for real it always boils down to money but the dude couldn't find the money and possibly there probably was never any money to be found anyway the dude was just you know he was out of his mind a little bit but we see Coulter really putting his best foot forward the officers were kind of perturbed by him because like no 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 well you do this but you only do it for the money you know she, you can't judge a book by its cover but we see it unfold and i'm like okay man because he really had a heart for finding this kid. And and like rightfully so, as a kid. But um, one thing that I did not like about the entire episode was that one moment with the kid when the man shot Coulter after the cop sent the helicopter in. And I, I do love how Coulter handled that. He's like, hey, man, if you want to escape, escape. Just give me the kid and we can get up out of here. But the kid kind of just stayed in the back of the truck. I get it. You know, he was kind of shell-shocked, a little terrified. So... For him, that was the best option. But, bruh, you could have jumped out of that truck and that could have ended the last maybe 10, 12 minutes of this episode. <laughs> you would have been, it would have been over with and easy. But he stayed in the truck and I guess that did add more complexness to the story. Um, complexity? It did add more complexity. It did add more. I guess he stayed in the back of the truck for some reason. It did add more complexity to the story, and I'm not mad at that because we get to see them jump off and swim in the water. Okay, it was a whole ordeal, but at the end of the day, Coulter saved the kid and got his money and got to sleep with this random chick that he possibly will never see again. I mean, this man is living the dream. He's got an Airstream. He's got a, he, I'm assuming that's a Sierra, like a GMC Sierra. Got a nice truck and making 20K, 50K here and there. This man is living the dream. I'm just being real. <laughs> but overall, I did enjoy this episode, and I'm excited to see where this series is going to go as we progress forward because there is a mystery to be had with what happened to his father and was someone actually chasing him. And we're possibly going to tune in every week for the case of the week and maybe more about his father. Now, I did like it. I really did enjoy it, and I can't wait for episode two. This is what is incredible. Don't forget to smash the like button. You can't smash any more. Comment down below, and I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them and subscribe. Peace out. Cause I've been working a lot. I think I deserve a shot. I think I deserve a spot. Cause it's been years on this path that I walk. And if I keep going, I pray I'll be at the top.